Welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here. My name is Rick Corvent Conti. On this channel, yeah, we talk about Corvette. We do how-tos. We share your customer stories, and we definitely talk about the ever-changing Corvette marketplace. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, as you saw me fart around with these things, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. They're exclusive. Our camouflaged, wrapped Corvette diecast. You're going to have a chance to win one of these three today on the vlog. And before we get rolling into today's vlog and some people I want to share with you on the vlog, i got a little explaining to do. Now, real quick, before I do some explaining on our previous vlog, I, I want to clarify some stuff. I think you guys will really understand. I love the feedback that we're getting from you. But I had a chance to watch last night my very first live stream of my friend Chuck from Corvettes 918. Uh, he's been so kind to extend some great courtesy to us and here at this channel and uh, some of you guys were making some cool comments as I was posting there in the live stream. Uh, that was pretty neat, it was enjoyable and I appreciate the great work and the great representation he does as a Corvette enthusiast and I just love being a part of it. So all of you out there, thank you again for your support. But uh, Chuck was talking about the 2019 order guide and nobody's more frustrated than me but you gotta remember just because you see the car and you're ready and some of you have sent deposits, it doesn't make the car come any quicker. We've got to do this on Chevrolet's timetable, if there is one. But that order guide that's out for 2019, it's been on a couple of different websites and what have you, really just uh, covers Stingray, Z51, Grand Sport, and Z06. And it doesn't cover what we stumbled upon were two new colors that, well, we assumed were coming out for 2019 as soon as we started talking about it on the channel. And it was on Facebook and what have you. All of a sudden, those colors disappeared, just like when we first found ZR1 Blue name for the caliper. The only reason I haven't posted that order guide because it's incomplete. I mean, it, it doesn't have that information and it has nothing on ZR1. And let's face it, that's what you guys want. So why would I post an order guide that has no pertinent information to what you want to see? So it, it, it's wasted time for everybody. Wasted all this time looking at information I don't need, I don't want. I want the ZR1 information. I know, so basically that order guide was here. Put these on here. It was buried in the 2018 was basically a band-aid of an order guide. So we'll just do that right there. Just put another one up there. So here you go. Yeah, let's put a little band-aid on there for you guys. Okay, so yeah, so the band-aid of an order guide is out now. Yeah, I'm over here somewhere. Hey guys. <laughs> and we're hoping basically with the American reveal of the ZR1 at the Los Angeles Auto Show coming up next week that we will take the band-aids off and we'll find out what the heck is going on. Pricing and all that kind of stuff. That was the other neat thing. There was a conversation on Chuck's live stream on his YouTube channel, Corvettes 918. My guess is, and I was kind of with Chuck on this, but they're going to make this a better value story than ever before. And I think that's fantastic. I think once you load it up and you get the big wing and the Z07 package and all that kind of stuff, I think you're probably going to be at a buck and a quarter total price. But I think the base price, my guess, and I have no intel on this, this is just, this is really truly just a guess with what that car is. I think that car is going to come in around 99.9 is kind of my guess. So they can boast what a great supercar we have under starting under a hundred thousand dollars i mean it's kind of that that market you, you know what i'm saying with that so that's kind of where i think it's going to start we're hoping that at the la auto show that they're going to announce pricing i mean please give us something i mean we're ready to go the switch is flipped for 2019 ordering for everything but zr1 as we get more information complete information on the 2019 I promise you guys, I'll share it immediately on the YouTube channel. It'll go on my CorvetteConti.com site, of course it'll go on my Facebook page, so on and so on. So you have the information to make an informed decision so you can hurry up and get your checkbook and let's get going. In our last vlog, now I talked about Greg and we showed you Greg picking up, well, what ended up being a Camaro ZL1. And I posed the question in the vlog and in the thumbnail and I said, hey, what would you pick, guys? Would you pick a 1LT Grand Sport? Or would you pick a loaded ZL1 Camaro? Now, I didn't really propose that question the right way because here was my mindset when I threw the question out there. Uh, being Greg was a past customer and he's already had a 1LT coupe in 2012. He had a 1LT coupe in 2016. He really wanted to step up a little bit and he would in a Grand Sport, but still in a 1LT, 
he really, it was not quite a lateral move, but I don't know if it was a big enough move. And the money was so close between the Grand Sport Special and the ZL1 Camaro. And long term, he wanted to get something like a ZL1 or a Z06 with more features, more horsepower. So once I proposed that and we realized how close the money was, I thought that in that particular moment for his situation, I really thought that was better money spent. So that's why I said I would side with Camaro ZL1 in that particular scenario. But one thing I'll tell you guys on the channel, I think a lot of you know anyways, but let me tell you something, you will never ever have to question my commitment for Corvette. Oh yeah. Here's the other thing, and I know you guys are getting a little dizzy. Make up your mind. I can't even make up my mind, and I have made up my mind as far as the Los Angeles Auto Show and the ZR1 and the American debut. And I've been going back and forth with this on you guys, and I said, make the most important thing the most important thing. You know, most of the business I'm doing is online. So with me being out of town, I can still conduct business, I can still secure deals for you guys. And I'm going to do a quick kamikaze run to the Los Angeles Auto Show. Yes, I'm going to the LA Auto Show, baby! <laughs> So yes, we're going to the media days, but I'm only going to be there actually one day. So I'm flying out Tuesday the 28th, and that's kind of a media day already, but I'm going to get there in the evening, have some dinner, get ready to go Wednesday all day long. I'm going to be at the LA Auto Show, and I'm going to be at the Corvette display all day. I'll be sharing some stuff on Facebook. I'll probably do a Facebook Live. I'm not as brave as Chuck from Corvettes 918. I'm not going to do any, any YouTube live stream. He's going to be doing a live stream December 2nd on that Saturday, and you'll be able to join him right there from LA. He'll be one of the first, if not the very first, auto vlogger from the ZR1 display. But the coverage I'm going to be providing for you on that Wednesday is I'm going to be getting as many pictures as I can because this is what I was told. They're going to have a great display of ZR1s in Los Angeles. I heard multiple configurations. So we're anticipating maybe a convertible, maybe you'll see a car with a low wing, and you'll see a car with the high wing. And you're probably thinking, Rick, why are you going back and forth on this thing? I just, my commitment to do coverage, to be involved, I just really felt, and I know there's some other guys that are going and they're gathering some of their friends and what have you, but uh, for the presence that we've got on YouTube, and hey, thanks for helping me hit 4,000 subscribers. Let's kick this thing in the butt. Let's hit 5,000 by the end of the year. I just, I really felt empty, like I was missing something, and I didn't want to play any coverage that I was sharing with you from that point forward feeling like I was second fiddle, you know? So uh, we're gonna be front and center and share as much as we can with you, give you an honest to goodness opinion. And I am hoping to get some interviews. I know Harlan Charles is gonna be there from Corvette. If you're watching this video and you saw those really cool die cast cars at the beginning of the vlog, and you want an opportunity to win those, you've gotta be a subscriber to our channel. Uh, all you gotta do is have a Google account. If you got an email address, and it doesn't have to be a Gmail account, uh, you've got an email address, you can go to google.com, you can create a Google account, click, it's free to subscribe to the channel, you hit the bell notification, that way when we do new uploads, you don't miss a thing, and it is wonderful to have you here. All right, let's share with you now, Ashton coming back and loading his first ever car, let alone his brand new Corvette, on a trailer to drive back to Texas. We had a blast. Look who's what back! Up? Yeah! What's happening? How you doing? How you, How you doing? doing? You know, Ashton thought about it. He was on his way back home. He says, you know what? I'm gonna quit the Air Force and I'm gonna go sell vets with Rick. Yes, yep. that's what I'm doing. It's the best decision of my life. Yeah, I'm so silly. Pops? Yes. Yep, this is my Pops. Pops. How are you doing? Rick Conti, nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for coming up. I appreciate that. I hope so. I figure that's as far up as it goes right there. That's as far up as it goes? Yeah. Boy, that sucker sure is wobbling, man. I know, that's uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I'm not digging that. And all he's thinking about right now, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. It's just get it on the truck, let's go. <laughs> we'll get it on the truck and then go, dink. Sometimes don't uh, really give us the pitch that we need. Uh, fortunately, we got this really crazy drive coming out the back here. So what we're going to do is kind of move the truck and trailer around and then hopefully just drive it straight on. You see, this is a little bit better setup coming down here off this pitch. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Hey, that's what you get when you borrow your buddy's trailer, right? It's like, yes. hey, man, 
Where's the wood? I mean, doesn't nope. he doesn't he yeah. do this? <laughs> he should have known better. Give me the wood. That's all right. We got it on. I'm a nervous wreck. Look at this. We got it on. So I didn't have the camera with me inside the car as I'm coming up. And when you were walking back on the trailer, mm -hmm. reminded me of a story. You're like, oh my gosh, Rick's got all these stories. Yes, here's another. Go ahead, sit down. Relax a little bit. <laughs> so I had a guy in Wisconsin come up to get a car. Same type of trailer set up. Same deal. He's walking backwards like you. And I had deja vu. And I'm like, oh my God, Ashton, please don't trip. Please don't fall. We were loading a 2008. 427 special edition z06 he's walking backward i'm doing the same thing driving the car up he flips right off the trailer <laughs> his leg got twisted he oh. falls on his foot breaks his foot mm. <laughs> it's like not the lasting impression on a delivery experience i wanted no. it to thank goodness his dad was with him and drove home but he couldn't drive his new car for three months <laughs> a broken foot so good no broken foot you're no, all good no broken feet okay no, we're good we're good <laughs> we gotta get that air dam up there but like you said yeah. to protect it and uh so if anything i would have hit that oh, you just you could have went kerplunky right over the wall <laughs> look how tall you are you could have fell over that wall sure. me no but yes you could have <laughs> hey guys watch this uh, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick Conti here on my Corvette vlog. I like it. Good look. <laughs> I feel so they look, weird. They look good on oh, look at that. Hey, I look pretty cool. It's good reflection there. Little dab. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give me some of these. You gotta get you. I gotta give me some of these. Look at even even his dad's got glasses on. I feel so I feel so weird talking to you guys like that. I'm sorry. He goes, I want to get on the road. He goes, I want to go to the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green. What advantage do we have is we're gonna pick up an hour, but man, it is gonna be close. And I love a lot of the feedback we've gotten over the last couple of vlogs with Ashton and I. And yes, we have had a great time together. And that's what this car is all about is having fun. Somebody made a comment and said, hey, you know what? That Ashton guy, he's got a great radio voice too, Rick. It's like, yeah, we could we could do a show together. You know, I'll do traffic. Okay, uh, we're looking at traffic right now in Columbus. Uh, 670 and 270 in the outer loop is an absolute mess. Now, you would think you could come down I-71. No, you're wrong there. Your best bet is to stay home. Back to you, Ashton, with the weather. Hey, folks. <laughs> Here in Columbus, it's a lovely 86 degrees. <laughs> Partly cloudy, blue skies, not expecting any rain or precipitation in the area. Uh, humidity is uh, fairly low for the day, but uh, it's a great day to get out with the family, have a little picnic. <laughs> That's the most detailed forecast I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. <laughs> I'm going to go on a picnic. I think we're just tired. We're just, we're, we have heat stroke from out here trying to load the car. If I can, just take yes. a chance to say uh, thank you to everybody who's uh, been posting the thank you for your service. Uh, it's a pleasure. Glad to do it. Um, put smiles on y'all's face. And again, this is all for you. Uh, it's a reward that you earn, buddy. It's a reward that you earn. So enjoy the hell out of it. All right. We'll yeah. do. We'll yeah. do. Can you do the little pad for you? Oh yes, you know what? I almost forgot that. I was. It's great that the customers watch the channel more than I do, and I forget my own stuff, my own material. I forgot it. Yeah, we forgot to do that. Way to go, man! I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like you go pat me on the butt. Yes, I am. Right there, a little pat on the butt. Bye, baby. Uh, and while we're out test driving the car, he's like, hey man, I watch your vlogs. I'm like, are you kidding me? That is so cool. And all the respect I have for you in that regard means a lot. But even more so, as you folks that are in the military and Greg is in the military, you know how much respect I have for them. Look at you stand up straight. He's like, yeah, let me stand up straight. He said, military, I gotta really? stand attention. You gotta know? stand attention for that. <laughs> you are a combat veteran. And I thank you for your service. I thank you for your support of Corvette and your enthusiasm. Uh, that me means a lot. It really does. So we've been having a lot of fun. And look at yeah, look, yeah. look at the look at the car that we're getting right now. This is what he's getting. It's a 2015. And I wish the sun was out a little bit, but this is a shark gray car. And here's what's real exciting. You know, and it's hard, we had some good pictures online, and it's hard sometimes to capture in a photograph, but look at this bad boy. Yeah, that is brownstone interior unique classy and just freaking hot to me it's classy yeah yeah that's cool love it love, love it, it. Yeah. oh good well thanks for going on the vlog and just saying oh, hi sure. to everybody all right my man 
You excited? I'm excited. I know you are. You look like a little kid. Hey, See, thanks, look at that. Rick. Congratulations, seriously. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the business, uh, support of the YouTube channel. I gotta, I gotta send you off the right way, right, my man. Send me off the right way. That's right, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations, Greg. Thank you, man. We'll see you. All right, bud. I get so many comments from other YouTube vloggers. They say, Rick, your channel, man, your community is incredible. They go, your comments, you get 100, 200, 300 comments. It's just amazing. I mean, you guys are really engaged. I mean, yeah, part of it is the contest stuff. You're interacting with other viewers, and I appreciate that. I enjoy it. And again, thank you so much for the support. So in today's video, it's going to be a random draw. I'm going to let this roll for a couple of days and then we'll announce the winners before I go to LA. If you make any comment on this vlog whatsoever, just to say hi, say happy Thanksgiving, and you're a subscriber, you're going to be entered in the random draw and have an opportunity to win one of these beautiful camouflaged exclusive Corvette diecasts. This is a wrap done by my friend Trent at Guru Graphics. Now he does a great job on cars, big giant vans, office buildings. Trent is your guy at Guru Graphics. Just just don't blow him up to do any of these. I mean, I had to beg him to do these. He wanted to kill me, but I'm glad that he did them, and he did a great job. And if you win one, you're going to see what I mean, and you're really going to enjoy it. But check out Trent at Guru Graphics for your next rap job or whatever that type of thing that you may need, all right? And lastly, before we go, because you know when I turn the camera on, I can't stop talking, but seriously, all the support we're getting on this channel once again, thank you. I wish you and yours and your family to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm going to try and do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time at Thanksgiving. If we pull it off, I might share a little bit of that with you on the vlog. But regardless, uh, thanks for taking the time to join us. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you just probably, probably one more time before I go to Los Angeles.